Um, my name is Vanessa. I'm one of the managers at our bridal boutique. Awesome. So I have a couple of questions with wedding dresses and bridesmaids dresses. So you can can you tell me like some of the popular styles that you see coming out of the boutique this year? This year, a lot of brides are shopping for like the whimsical, like puffy sleeve. Um, we have noticed that brides this year have been a little bit more modest than previous years. So they're looking for the neck coverage, the sleeves, um, not so many slits on the dresses, all that stuff. Yeah, so have you seen like a specific style that's more than others? So it's like a ball gown or is it more mermaid or any of like the specific trends that are bigger this year? I wouldn't say more than others. Um, I mean, every bride that comes in definitely comes in with like an idea, but then sometimes at the end of the appointment, they're coming out with the opposite thing that they wanted. So be like, I want a tight fit and they go out with a ball gown. Um, I would say probably it's between like a mermaid to a ball gown. Okay. It, there's really no, not much of an in between. Um, but the neckline is different this year. The neckline is different. Um, not so much for the mermaid look. The mermaid does still have the low cut. Yeah. Um, but for the ball gown, we definitely are seeing like the long sleeves or the higher neckline. Okay. So do you see anything different in bridesmaids dresses this year? If the like, like the wedding gowns are different, do you see like different styles coming out of bridesmaids dresses? Or are they staying pretty much the same? Um, they're staying quite the same. I think the only thing that has changed this year is we got in a new type of material um, and it's a little lighter. So not so heavy, which helps a lot with those bridesmaids that are getting married in the summer or in the spring. Um, the color purple is very popular this year. That's what I was gonna say. Is there like a color this year that's like the big color that you're like, so wow. So far, purple. Purple. Because it has a little bit more shades. Okay. It so it's like, like the shade range of yeah, purple. Yeah, okay. it can be like a light purple to like a very dark, very plum color. Yeah. But purple has been, quite the color this year. Is that, like, what was last year? How different is it from last year, what they were shopping for? I think last year, I saw a lot of blue. Blue? If if I'm not mistaken, it, it's been a minute, but. Yeah. I think it was blue, um, and in the fall, it was, like, the color cinnamon, so the rustic look. Yeah. With the cinnamon, um, cinnamon, and, it was something else, Sienna. That's okay. Like, cinnamon and Sienna. So what is something that you think brides and bridesmaids should know before they come in and start looking for their dresses? Like what should they come in wearing? What should they come in looking for, prepared for? What should they prep for before they walk in? Um, it's a lot. Uh, That's fine, they need to know. <laughs> <laughs> when they come in, a lot of them either have tried on once or have not tried on dresses at all. Um, I wouldn't say necessarily what you should wear. Um, it does help when you're kind of wearing like the a more proper bra. Okay. Um, Cause some come in with like their everyday to day bra and that's not what you're gonna wear at the wedding nine times out of 10. Yeah. Um, so I feel like the bra definitely comes in play. Obviously we have bras in there that we're able to pull and grab them. Um, but I would say probably don't bring 11 people with you. Yeah. Um, just, and I'm not saying it's not because we don't want to make the moment special, but it's just because the more people there are, the more opinions. Um, and at the end of the day, it's their wedding. And sometimes yeah. that takes away from what the bride really wants. Um, you know, a lot of opinions are coming in and they're like, well, maybe I don't like this dress. Yeah. And we'll see them maybe a month later or so. And they're like, actually, do you guys remember that dress I tried on? That indeed was my dress. Yeah. Um, I would say probably also have an open mind to it, like, and have more than six months to your wedding. That's what I was gonna say. Is there like a time frame that you think that they should be coming in? Like, when should they know, okay, my wedding's in X amount of months, I need to be trying on now? If you want an open window, like 
from range A to a range C, like all of them, I would say six months. Six months is like the minimum you need right. to be in. Okay. Because that's like, you can pick from a ball gown to a mermaid to a A-line, all that stuff, but we can't get all the dresses in time. Yeah. And some of our dresses do come in black. So the black color does take longer than a white color. And the ones we have in store, those are like, you know, the, the pink tones or the nude tones. Some brides really want that white. You yeah. know, they want to look like a whole bride, yeah. which is fine. But again, it comes into play like how soon you come. Yeah. There's some brides who have shown up, you know, a month prior to the wedding. And it's fine, but they are a little bit more limited on their choices. Yeah, just kind of on crunch time, especially with right. and, and it's upsetting for them. Yeah. You know, they're like, I like this style. And we got to be like, Unfortunately, you know, yeah. it does not come in time. Yeah. And have you seen a lot of brides in colored dresses? Like, is that like I know that off white is still very much a thing. Right. But is it like have you seen a lot in color? Like the blush color, like the pink color, or like black? Or I saw red for a while. Yeah. Um, or have those kind of died down? They're more like scars. You know, there are not a lot of brides who get those colors. Yeah. Um, I've seen two brides with red, red um, wedding gowns, yeah. and they look gorgeous. Yeah. Um, I think one of them was gonna add like a sparkle tool on it. Um, I've seen brides who want black, but they just pick from like a special occasion dress. Um, trying to think, I think that's it. Really, red, black, and white is what yeah. they changed to. Um, what about like bridesmaids? How soon should they be looking for bridesmaids dresses? That's a little bit more lenient. Um, I would say probably four months. Okay. Maybe six, six months. months. <laughs> Actually. Okay. Well, six months because again, that gives you a range. Yeah. Um, there's some colors that do come quite quickly. You know, the wine, the blue, yeah. um, purple, all those. Um, but like if you're picking like a spa, which is like a very different type of blue, yeah. or you're really picking the sienna, which is like an orange, yeah. it's gonna take a little bit longer. Um, so that's what we really want them to come in, again, six months prior to the wedding. And those colors are a little bit more difficult. They can be like, okay, it seems like it has a four month time frame. Yeah. And by the time it gets here, they need alterations done, they need whatever done. Or sometimes, unfortunately, you know, people gain weight or they lose weight. So for whatever reason, we sometimes have to switch the size of the dress now. Yeah. So it's like, you know, maybe when the time they came in, they were size 12 and now they've changed their body type. So we got to get a different size. Yeah. That's another timeline. So do you think like they should anybody who's coming in should like bring their shoes with them or do they do you think that doesn't really matter so much now if you're gonna hem it or something like that yeah it doesn't really matter much if you bring shoes just because in the store we also do have the shoes we have the undergarment so, so we can, can pull find from a that. heel that's yeah. like roughly the same and honestly when it really matters is when you're getting alterations done yeah because when they hem the dress it's gonna be very much to whatever shoe you're wearing in the height of that. Yeah. So that's when you really are asked to bring the shoe or whatever you're gonna be wearing on your wedding day. Same thing for like the bra, you know? If on the appointment you wore your normal everyday to day bra, it's gonna be different from a wedding bra. Yeah. Or if they're sewing in cups on a uh, wedding gown, that's gonna be different fit. Yeah. So I think a lot of people don't realize that, that shapewear really is a, big game changer there. Yeah. Um, the bra you wear really matters. Uh, the shoes, I mean, they are a player to when you're getting the hand done. Yeah. Um, and that's another thing, you know, when they go to alterations, they don't realize that if they bought a non-expensive dress that was $500, depends on what they're getting done to their dress, it can cost them the same dress it costs, like the alterations are the same as the dress. Yeah. So they can be spending up to $500. Yeah. Have you seen a fabric that's more like, because I know for a while lace was like a big thing. And yeah, then, lace is not a not a big thing anymore. Yeah, I have seen it fade. Like, what's the big thing now? Is it tulle? Is it just like, what is the big thing right now? In bridesmaids dresses, I feel like I'm seeing more of like the silky fabric. Um, 
but I'm not sure if there's like a, a switch happening in a fabric type. Um, I think the chiffon is what's really doing it on both sides, okay. both the wedding and the bridesmaids. Um, the satin, yes, I've seen it more. However, satin is a heavy material. Yeah, and it's like really hard to get wrinkles out of. Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and including like those summer weddings, it's not... It's clingy. Yeah. yeah. You probably don't want to wear it. Okay. Um, so, you know, we kind of go through those options with the bride, because the bride usually comes in with yeah. the mates. Um, and we're like, you know, kind of when is your wedding? and where is your wedding because those two players do come in the fabrics. Yeah. Um, so satin is coming up, but we're also kind of wanting to be like realistically though. Yeah. Um, but I would say probably chiffon is the big one going on right now with the bridesmaids and the wedding gown. Um, Just for alterations, do you know kind of what the current turnaround time is looking like? So how long should you allot for alterations? And I know that like, that depends on what you're getting done, obviously, but is there a general rule of thumb that people should kind of think about when they're taking their dress to get altered? Yeah, so we try to always tell the brides to come see us three to four months before the wedding. Okay. Just because sometimes, again, if they, for some reason, their body type changes, Yeah. that's a little bit more alterations, whether it's letting out or taking in. Um, sometimes it's a case that they have ordered their dress six months ago and now we're a little bit closer to wedding and we have to order a new dress. Yeah. Because for our alterations, we can only modify two sizes down mm -hmm. just because if we do any more, it can alter the look of the dress. So sometimes it's a case that they come in three to four months before the wedding, we have to change the size. Okay. But even then, sometimes if it's a case that they lost one size, we're able to alter that, but it's gonna be a little bit of a trial and error. So those three to four months gives us the, the time to really get to make it fit to their, their body type. Yeah. Um, so, you know, sometimes people think that it's two appointments, they go home with their dress. Sometimes it's a process of really trial and error. Yeah. Um, and we see that, that the brides do get a little frustrated. And, you know, unfortunately, it's just, it doesn't come out right yeah. the first time. You know, it's a lot of fixing here, a little tweak there, so. Do you usually expect at least two alterations appointments, maybe three? Uh, I would say three is probably like a good number. Yeah. Just because, like I said, you know, you go to your first appointment, you get pinned. Mm -hmm. The second appointment is essentially your pickup. But if they need to make changes, if they need to make then changes, you're gonna have a third. Then you come a third time and you're like, okay, now it's exactly, or sometimes, you know, people are not sure if that's all they want by their first appointment. Yeah. So they go in, they get a pin, they come back, they're, they're getting the pickup. And then they're like, actually, can we do this? Can we do that? Can we add that? And we're like, yeah, sure. Yeah. So that's another time you have to come back in. Um, so, you know. Yeah. Is there anything else that you want to make sure that brides or bridesmaids or even mothers coming in to look for their dress, anything like that that you want to make sure that they know before the end of the episode today? I just want to like recap anything that you think is really important for them to keep in mind when they go shopping. Um, I really feel like more of them should have an open mind. Definitely open mind, because you won't necessarily walk out with what you think you're going to walk out right. with. Right, and because everybody's body type is different, not everything's going to look the same on everybody or the yeah. style's going to fit everybody. So, you know, I've had, I had an appointment who really, they came in wanting a specific style, but once they had it on the bridesmaids, you know, they're like, actually, it doesn't suit everybody. So we had to start the whole process again. Yeah. So it's just a matter of being patient. You know, busy season at a bridal shop is crazy. Yeah. You literally see a lot of the girls running back and forth. Um, it's It looks a little messy. It's not, but 
it also if you it's kind of chaos if you bring seven yeah. bridesmaids at one time yeah. the chances are we're not gonna have enough time yeah. so it's just having an open mind yeah. an open mind that it's not gonna always be correct the first time and we might have to see you for another appointment and yeah. well thank you so much for coming and I appreciate you sharing all of the information I know a lot of brides are gonna appreciate it because there's a lot of questions around go and get your dress and how they should plan for that and I think this is gonna be helpful yeah there is so much yeah there's a lot that goes <laughs> into that part so I really appreciate you sharing yeah. so thank you for coming on thanks for having me